Welcome, Wolf and Wolfettes! We are back with Detroit Become Human on the PlayStation 4 Pro. And we didn't really do much in the last video. We was introduced to Connor and we uh, we done a little bit of investigating and we managed to save a little girl from a Deviant, which is an android that's gone a bit wrong. So uh, we succeeded in that mission, but we also sort of gained Daniel the robot's trust and uh, then he got shot. So I did feel like a bit of a jerk in the last video. Uh, we also met Kara, but we only had a brief introduction with her. She was in a shop because apparently she was broken and hit by a car. You can already see her owner's a bit of a jerk looking twat, but you know, <laughs> we can't judge him yet. We can't judge him yet. He might be a nice top bloke. But yeah, we also had a quick introduction to Kara, and we're now playing as Marcus, and we need to head off to some sort of paint shop to uh, collect some paints, I guess, or something. But yeah, um... One thing you might have noticed in yesterday's video when we had that brief introduction to Kara when she was on her like car journey home, there was um there was quite a lot of people that were homeless on the floor and like angry people that were mad about the androids taking their jobs and stuff like that, which I can definitely understand 100%, you know, cuz everybody needs to have a job otherwise you're not going to be able to earn money. You know, so when an android is doing all of the jobs, and obviously an android is going to be better at the job than a human, it um, it's definitely gonna, definitely gonna annoy a lot of normal human beings, isn't it? <laughs> There's quite a few things we can look at around here. We can go straight to the paint shop, or we can have a look around. You know, so I suppose we'll have a quick look around. You know, see if there's anything we can interact with. You know, I think there's actually a group of protesters I can see over there. I don't know though. Is it? Is that group of protesters? I think it might be, I'm not sure. It looks like they are though. Right, let's have a look around. Oh. What does that say? Human music. One dollar to hear. Music with soul. I've got to be honest with you, mate. Um, I didn't pay one dollar and I still get to hear. Alright, let's leave him to it. Let's leave him to it. Oh dear. But yeah, this is Marcus, in case you ain't seen him yet. And uh, Marcus is pretty much a helper. He's like an assistant. Kara's like a housekeeper, like I said in the last video, and Connor like works like with the police. Machines, but we are not God. We are nothing but dust. Ban androids. We want jobs. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. But <laughs> you're probably right. With the decisions I make, he's probably right. We make these androids in you're so angry and rude, isn't they? They're so damn angry and rude. i got to be honest with you, though. I think I would be pretty pissed off if androids were walking around everywhere. Just because even though it would be really cool to have androids helping out with stuff, you know, and obviously... Androids are going to do everything perfectly, whereas a human won't. It would be bloody annoying having them like do all of the jobs and stuff, you know. Unless the government decides to just give all humans money, you know, just give us money for free, you know, and then let the androids do all the work. I'm fine with that, you know, I'm cool with that, but, you know, if they don't, then, yeah, people are going to be annoyed when they're living in some crappy, broken, run-down house, you know, with no money for food or anything. Of course they're going to be annoyed. And not everybody likes being on benefits. I know for like the little brief period that I had to go to the job centre when I first left school, I was not happy at all, you know, I was very annoyed with it. So I can understand why they're annoyed. But at the same time, humans built androids, so they can't really complain about it, can they? Oh dear. But I'm saying, I, I love the controls, I used to hate them, but I just love it, you know, how you sort of, you do the motion with the analogue stick, you know, sort of like the uh, uh, you know, with the handle, see? No, it just feels really nice and smooth. Fucking hell. Look at this guy. Looks like Ronald Weasley, doesn't he? Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Damn. That's a lot of money for paint, isn't it? 
Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. <laughs> I mean, we just we just uh, used some psychic powers to transfer money to each other. Probably some very very high quality uh, Bluetooth. Take bus home. I've got to be honest with you. I think most of that money was spent on the box because that's a fancy looking box for paints in it. I mean, I'm not an artist, you know. I mean, paints might actually cost that much in real life. I know that there are some very fancy pens you can get that cost in the hundreds and stuff, you know, so it does make sense. I suppose 63.99, what would that be in, like, pans? Probably, like, 45-ish, I suppose. So, yeah, so I suppose it's not too bad, I guess, for some nice quality paints. Oh, yeah, I remember this, actually. There's two different ways I think we can go. I think we can go straight to the bus stop, or we can walk through the angry mob. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like walking through the angry mob might be stupid. I'm going to walk through them, though, just so we can see what happens. Is that the dude from the from yesterday's video? Oh, no. He's, he's a bit fatter and a bit more clean. Get yours today, Cyberlife. So Cyberlife is the person, that the company that designed Androids in the first place and now sells them, you know. And I guess they're also the people that are developing brand new models and things like that, you know. Did he just give me a stroppy look? No, he didn't. Oh yeah, they are pissed off about Androids. Yep. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. <laughs> tin cans. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. <laughs> I'm getting the last samurai vibes. You know the last samurai with um, Tom Cruise? I'm getting the vibes from that scene where he won't stay down and that uh, samurai guy keeps knocking him to the floor. I'm getting flashbacks of that film there. Don't kick me again, mate, or I will go fucking T6000 on your ass. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Well, Connor is already taking the police jobs, isn't he? Androids are stealing our jobs. Yeah! We've got families. Uh -huh. I took your job and you won't be able to afford a fine that you'll get. Ah, yeah, pussy! Yeah, I'm making all the money. I'm making all the money, mate. You son of a bitch. I'll come over there and smack you. Difference is, though, I'm an android, so I don't really feel physical pain. I don't know I don't know if they feel emotional pain. I'm not sure how highly advanced the uh, androids are in this game, but they definitely don't feel physical pain. I suppose they should make the androids feel physical pain, but that would seem a bit weird, wouldn't it? One of the biggest perks of androids is they don't feel bloody pain, so you can get them to do jobs that humans won't do, you know? Fucking hell. Damn, someone just walked over my grave. Flipping hell. Android compartment. Oh, lovely. We, we can't even sit with the... <laughs> we can't even sit with the humans. What's wrong with that? They're so fucking angry with the androids, isn't they? Well, I'll tell you right now. If, uh, if I had an android, I would treat it like one of the family. We're not even allowed to sit down. Hey, look. That ginger one looks like the dude in the shop. Lovely. Nice relaxing bus ride home with no seat. This is pretty much how I live life. I never get a seat on the train or the bus. I think I might be an android. Do I look like an android? I don't have one of those circle things on me, Ed. Marcus took the bus. Right, did I miss anything? I think there's not really much you can miss. Oh. Oh, actually, I might have missed a um a magazine. Yeah, it's probably a magazine I've missed on that double one. Not sure what the other one is. Listen to the busker, visit the paint store, watch Preacher. Preacher yells at Marcus. 
process protesters harass Marcus. But yeah, you can you can really play this game in lots of different ways though. And also, I don't think I mentioned this yesterday. If you press triangle, it will show you the world stats and it will show you how many of the people did these different objectives and how many people got the uh, different endings. Obviously, there's only one ending for this chapter, but when it's multiple endings, it will show you how many people in the world got that choice. And if you press triangle again, it shows you your friends stuff. Obviously, I'm playing this on my Be Wolf the Wolf account and I don't think I have any friends on here. I don't think. Because I don't add friends on the Beowulf the Wolf account. So don't add me on it. Always add me on Davan, which is my main account. Just letting you know. Because I don't want to be bothered on this account when I'm trying to record, you know. Okay. Oh, lovely. We're back with Kara now. Looks like this is the slums of Detroit, I guess. But yeah, I was damaged in a car accident, Kara was. And she had to have her memory wiped. So I'm a fresh android pretty much at the moment. So I'm not going to remember anything that happened before. You know, when I got hit by a car. <laughs> no, I think I'm just going to stay out here. I don't think I'm going to get out of the car. <laughs> it does look like a jerk though, doesn't it? I mean, the second you see his face, you're going to get the vibe that he's an arsehole. Coming? There we go. Press R1 to switch camera angle. Join Todd. Well, I'll join you in a second, Todd. There's a couple of things we can look at. Rebuild North Cork Town. A better place to live. Detroit City. Because I think the main reason why the uh, developers picked Detroit was because back in the day, Detroit was like a very large industrial estate, you know, where like loads of stuff was built in Detroit. I don't know what it's like now. Because I know Eminem's from Detroit and he sings a lot about it, you know, and you hear, you see a lot of stuff about Detroit in Eminem's songs, you know, and it's pretty run down now. So I suppose that's why they've picked Detroit, you know, because it's a place where lots of manufacturing used to happen, you know. So it makes sense for, the, for it to be the place where they build lots of androids and things like that, you know. Oh well. Wait, is, that, is that a new road or are they just fixing it? Oh no, it looks like a new road. Alright, Todd. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. I don't want to be a maid. Hold R2 to scan your environment. Oh, look at the state of this shithole. Activate vacuum cleaner, check the backyard, collect dishes, all optional tasks. Urgent tasks, collect the trash. I don't think I ever did the optional tasks. I don't even know where the vacuum cleaner is. I never went in the backyard. Let's have a look if we can do that then. I don't think I've ever been outside, so let's have a look in the backyard. TV on. Oh, I thought he was asking me to do it then. I guess it's like a voice activated TV. Take down laundry. Oh, okay. Lovely. So uh, I suppose he did do some laundry, didn't he? If we've been gone two weeks, I guess I need to go over to the laundry basket. Yeah. I suppose this is a nice game to play directly after playing God of War. Because obviously when I was playing God of War, I was doing it on challenge mode, you know. So it's been, a, it's been a stressful playthrough on some bits. Especially that Valkyrie Queen. I mean, actually, you're probably watching the Valkyrie Queen today. So yeah, you'll see just how angry and how excited I was to finally defeat the Valkyrie Queen on challenge mode. Because when I did that on my own, I could only do it on a uh, normal difficult way. I managed to do it on a uh, challenging mode on YouTube. Is that an Eevee? Oh, it's a fox. I thought it was Eevee. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Oh, she likes that, doesn't she? Aren't you going to school today? Ok, 
Okay then. But yeah, I've been playing God of War on the top difficulty, so it's just been nice to play this game, you know, where it's very easy, you know. Uh, it's going to get a little bit stressful again soon, because I'm also going to be probably doing Super Bomberman R. And if you saw my PlayStation 1 playthrough of Bomberman World, that game could be a right pain in the butt, so that's going to be a bloody crazy playthrough. I'm also planning on doing some Jurassic Park Evolution and stuff like that. I'm going to make a channel update. I might have already done it, but I'm going to do another channel update soon, because there's quite a few things I need to talk about with you all. I don't know where I'm supposed to put this basket. I guess I should call this episode Beowulf the Maid. I thought maybe we would put it down in here somewhere. Oh. Oh, I can. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Hang on a minute. What did we just put them in? Did we just put them in the washing machine? What's the put... What was they hung outside for then? <laughs> Why did you hang dirty clothes out? Unless they've been left out there and got dirty again. Red ice. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. <laughs> I was going to say yes. <laughs> I've never had that happen before. That fucking made me jump. I guess that... I think that might be drugs. <laughs> Phew. What do you hide it in the soap powder for? Jesus Christ. Okay, right, let's um let's uh let's start picking up the rubbish and stuff. Oh, okay. Dishwasher is broke. Oh lovely. Oh, sweet. She's like she's pretty much like a walking Alexa, isn't she? Alexa, order a certain component. Oh, okay, all right, fine. I could have picked him up and walked over to the bin. Actually, you're going to see something. I think Kara might be a genius because she's going to stuff so much rubbish into this um, into this small little bin. It's going to be unbelievable. I mean, the, yeah. the fact that she even manages to put these pizza uh, boxes in the bin is amazing. But just watch mm. the amount of rubbish that gets in here. Depends and she doesn't the change the bag at all. See, look, she's, she's put the pizza boxes in there. Yeah, yeah. I can get How is there still room? Oh, look, we're going to put some more pizza boxes in this magical bin. Maybe it's a Mary Poppins bin. You put rubbish in it and it just teleports to the dump. Yeah, Won't be surprised. This is the future. I can't remember what year this is set in. I think it did say it at some point. Or maybe it was like 2038, if I, I might be. Might be wrong, though. Oh, is that the vacuum? Oh, it might be one of those um, robot ones that drives around. He's going to scream at me now, isn't he? How the hell do you fit all this rubbish in that bin? <sighs> Take out the trash. Lovely. What are these? Oh. oh. Okay. So he's asked for a credit card. He's been rejected. He's overdrawn in his bank account. It looks like his gas bill. Yeah, he's got a big gas bill. He's paid some of it, but he's not uh, done all of it. Some sort of invoice for something. Yeah, uh, yeah, Todd's not having a good day, is he? I guess that's why he's such an angry arsehole. Oh, oh shit, whoops. <laughs> Accidentally rotated Carver all dodgily. Better watch out, there's a car there. I might get hit by it again, you know? Fuck me. 
Yeah. Report to Todd. Okay then. Probably. <laughs> oh yeah, see look, he is he is um he is um taking drugs. Out of the way for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Whoops. <laughs> what if I do it again? Oh, I won't let me. Oh, come on. Stop it. Stop being so obedient, Kara. I was going to see if I could put on the uh, forbidden. Todd is watching TV. Oh, he's watching some hockey. Okay, then, whatever. I was going to try and put the hoover on, but never mind. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Clean upstairs. Right, now uh, when you come up here, make sure you do have a nice good look around. I mean, you might be a bit nervous about doing it just because Todd's a jerk, but definitely have a good look around because you could find some very useful things for later on in this uh, this section of the game. Make bed, clean mess, ventilate room. Switch on. Oh, it's a telly. And now to sport. Oh, cool. It looks a bit like a uh, broken age, doesn't it? That uh, double fine game. Unemployment at an all-time high. Well, of course it bloody is. You build a bunch of androids and you start wondering why people ain't got a job. It's like when they uh, when they introduce loads of immigrants to the country, you know, and then they, and then people don't have jobs. You know, it's the same sort of bloody thing. Right. Let's make the bed. Oh, actually, yeah. One thing you want to do is come over here. This is a nice little thing to know. Antidepressants. Risk of behavioural disorders. Yeah, look, see? Remember that, because if you do that, it shows you where a gun is. Yeah, see, look, unlocked. It's always nice to know where a gun is, especially when you're in America. Everyone's got a damn gun, so it's nice to know. Oh, here we go. This is one of the comics I was mentioning. Make sure you find these, because uh, there's a trophy for it. There's a, there, Normally there is, I think there's two on every single one. And then you can swipe to the left. This is touchpad stuff, by the way, when it shows that symbol, and then you just swipe, swipe down, you know. Lovely. Better put this down anyway, because if he comes up and sees us reading the magazine, he'll assume we're taking a break, and he'll start telling us off. Oh, sweet. Let's play the guitar. Wish I could play the guitar. I've got a guitar in the house. Can't play it, though. Can't play it at all. Maybe I'll make a video of me trying to play it. That'll be a funny video. I could do a very basic tune, I suppose. Like, just stuff I make up. I don't know how to read music. So, uh, that's out of the question. <laughs> I, d I used to know how to read music a little bit. I learned it in school when we used to do music. You know, I used to... I, I learned how to, like... Read the notes, but I can't bloody remember. It's been so damn long now. Watch it. Fucking arsehole. <laughs> Push me like that. Clean bathroom, clean restroom. Same bloody thing, innit? Oh, no. He probably just took a banging shit. Oh, damn. Oh, poor, poor Kara. What is she? An AX400. Oh, it even says their names on their back. I never noticed that. Arrange bottles, store dirty clothes. You don't have to do any of this. You can just rush on to the next task, but might as well just do it. I don't want to give him a reason to start bitching at me, you know? Especially because he seems to be a cock, you know? And I don't want him to take it out like Alice or anything like that, you know? So I'm just doing all of the chores to make sure he's uh, happy. Mop the floor. I feel like I'm at work at the bloody moment. I'll tell you, I hate, I hate mopping at work. When I'm at work, I hate it. Oh, oh yeah, stroke that touchpad, yeah, yeah. But the mop I have at work is, is because I'm six foot one, it's, it's a very short ass mop, so I have to bend down about four miles so I can actually bloody reach the floor. Does my back in, does my back right in. Look at a drawing all over the door. I just want to tidy up your room a little. 
I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? That's a sweet little fort she's built, isn't it? Wish I could build a fort that good. Oops. Oh. Oh, I don't think I've ever done that option. I think the uh, what what I did in this area later on in the game, I don't think I made the best choice. I mean, a lot of you guys and girls will probably think I did make the good choice, but I don't think I did. <laughs> I'll probably end up making the same decision. It was a it was an accident, really, what I actually did in this area. It wasn't on purpose. But yeah, you do have relationships with the with the characters in this game, and they do change depending on what you do, you know. And they, their, their, their attitudes, depending on the character, can change so fucking easily, you know. Sometimes you think you're being nice, you know, and then you try and be nice and they get really angry with you. So do definitely pay attention to your relationships with the characters because it, um, it can cause a lot of different endings and stuff and a lot of different, different outcomes and things like that. Like I said, you will have to play through this game, I'd say, three, four times, you know. And even then, there might be other stuff you've not experienced. Oh, what's that? Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Oh, neutral with Alice. That was easy. I've only said two words to her and she already likes me. Are we done then? I think I need to speak to... Oh, Alice's treasures, okay. I think we have to speak to Alice, but I don't think it's given me the option. Oh. What's that? Seems you like reading. She does indeed. Let me speak to her. Why wouldn't you let me speak to her? I've done everything in here, haven't I? Tidy Todd's room. Oh. I did tidy Todd's room. Oh, yeah. I didn't do the um, bit of the, uh, oh, the bedside cabinet. I don't think I did that. Yeah, whoops. Okay, that's why then. What, what, why is there a fully opened bag of crisps? Like, he must have eaten, like, one. And they're going to be all stale now. What a waste. What a goddamn waste. Who opens a bag of crisps and doesn't just, like, demolish all of them in about five seconds? I know I sure as hell do. Like, you know when you get those um, big bag of walkers? I think they might be called Lay's in America. They're an English crisp, but I think they're called Lay's in America. I don't know why. They're, but they're called walkers. And, um... Those crisps, sometimes they say perfect for sharing, and I just devour the entire lot. What the hell is it on about Tidy Todd's room? I thought we tidied his room. I guess, the, oh, actually, no, okay, I know what I didn't do. I didn't do the, the cabinet either, did I? Come on, let me... Where is it? There we go. Oh, there we go. Now I could talk to Alice. That's why then. Sorry about that. I thought I did everything in the uh, in there for some reason. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? 
Oh, oops. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Okay. Oh, there we go. Why did she get angry because I asked about her mother? I mean, I don't know that her, I don't know that your mother's gone. <laughs> Jesus. Ask for new instructions. Okay, well, I'll do that in a minute. I'm gonna have to end the video now anyway, so I have to do that next time. I was supposed to have ended this two minutes ago, but never mind. Olive clover, lovely. Definitely some good luck in there. Doesn't seem to be working though, does it? She doesn't seem to be having a good day. Not much good luck for her. I guess that's her mum. Todd looks a little bit skinnier there. She got his clothes very correct, didn't she? Oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess he beats me up then. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, there we go. I guess that's when I was hit with a car. <laughs> we already knew it was a jerk anyway. We knew that about 10 seconds ago when we uh, tried to put some soap powder in the washing machine and then his crack cocaine come out. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now, Waffle Wolf. So we will carry on with this next time. So yeah, thanks for watching, Waffle Wolf. Hopefully you enjoyed the second video of Detroit. Once again, like I said, if the uh, audio is wrong, let me know. And also, if the subtitles are too small, let me know. And I'll change it in the third video. Like, share, and join the pack today. Oh!